I'm putting my shoes on right now and we're getting the kids out of the car because we just made it to Target. We have driven what? Four hours? Five hours? Five hours, right? We've been driving since three and it's... 9.40. 9.40 now, so... No, no, it's... it's Almost six hours. And we are heading to Glacier National Park. So, we're making a pit stop. We're gonna spend a couple hours here in Great Falls. Okay, baby, you wanna put... You wanna put your new boots on? That's two of the Target. Oh yeah, we're at Target. Yeah, All right, let me find your Target. socks. Anyways, Daddy, we're gonna go into Target and spend Target. a few hours. We are at Target, baby. We're gonna spend a few hours here, kind of break up the trip, let the kids have a little bit of time out of the car. Say good morning. Good morning. just woke up. Me and Jordan have been awake for a couple of hours, but I'm so excited because we are on our way to the west entrance of Glacier. So I filmed just a little bit yesterday of us heading in and through the mountains to get to where we stayed, and it is beautiful. Literally, I'm sure the camera does not do it justice, and we had a bit of a rough ride yesterday. I'll tell y'all more about that later, but we're so excited. We are gonna go on some hikes today with the kids, just some short ones. We're gonna go see Lake McDonald. We're gonna go, where at other, um, we're gonna go to Avalanche Lake. We're gonna drive the, going to the Sun Road a good bit today. And we are also wanting to go to, uh, you wanna go swimming, girl? It's freezing out here. Okay, sis says we're going swimming, so who knows? You never know what the day could bring. These are all just tentative plans, of course. But I really wanna go to Pole Bridge, I think is what it's called. It's about, it's a kinda, I'm assuming it's up the mountain a little bit, um, because it's only like 10 miles from the west entrance, but it's a 30 minute drive. So, but I wanna go up to Pole Bridge because they have a mercantile, and they have um, huckleberry bear claws, and I will love to try one. So, we're gonna hopefully do that today, and then we are gonna be here tomorrow also, and part of the day Sunday. Super exciting, but we're stopping right now for gas. We're gonna fill up, have, make sure we have a full tank in case we decide to drive through the whole park today. And we are also gonna grab some ice. We have an ice cooler in the back um, with some food and stuff for lunch. We're gonna have a good day. Are you ready, baby? Ready. Yeah! picnic on the lake oh look you get to see the rainbow rocks, rainbow rocks. you got it yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah hey guys come on keep going let's go all the way to the water 
Or do I see water? Wow, look how beautiful it is, Mumu. Wow, careful, the rocks are a little slippery. It is gorgeous out here. It is so beautiful. Sis, look at the rainbow rocks. No, they're in the lunchbox. Wow. Look, there's a little bitty fishy. <laughs> Jordan's trying to keep all the rocks out of Sawyer's mouth. He's giving him some big Newtons. <gasps> Yum, oh, Bean. Yummy. All right, while well, Jordan is getting them all set up, I'm going to give a little update. So we drove about halfway up the mountain. We drove all the way to, went to Logan's Peak, right? Or Logan's Pass, I think. Logan's Pass. And, oh my gosh, it was beautiful. But the trail actually was closed to the lake up there. Um, they had some bear sightings, I think. So, we didn't really hike too far. Um, that's actually a longer hike. And I think that one is actually listed as moderate. Um, but we, you know, tried to be prepared. And we were still pretty ill-prepared for this first day. But we came really tired from our drive yesterday. So, it's okay. We're going to be much more prepared tomorrow. But... How can you be upset when your view is this beautiful? So we're gonna eat some lunch. I packed up some chicken salad, make some sandwiches. I'm gonna eat mine in an avocado. And sis is eating literally a whole carrot. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, girl. You're gonna look at the rainbow rocks. Wow, aren't they beautiful? Don't put your feet in the water, okay? It might mess up your boots. Once we get done eating, we are gonna actually head up the side of West Glacier and go to Pole Bridge to that mercantile I was talking about earlier. And yeah, we're just enjoying our day. It's so beautiful. The kids had snowsuits on earlier when we started our hike at Logan's Pass, um, but it warmed up pretty quick. And it is just after, it's just almost two o'clock now. So it's pretty nice out here. The kids don't have jackets on at all. I honestly could go without my jacket too. made it to the mercantile it was a little bit of a rough drive not just because it was a gravel road part of the way and up a mountain and got stuff falling all out of the car but um we thought that we had maybe made the wrong turn so we had turned around and then we had to like turn around again to come back because we ended up not making a wrong turn but sis is sleeping wake up sis we're here at the store you want to go inside yeah, are you ready? Ready for Good morning. Did you have a good little nap? <laughs> oh, a stretch waking wakey. There's Beanie. Oh, he just woke up to you. What'd you find? A crown. A bow and arrow. A bow and arrow? Bow and arrow, yeah. Oh, look, it has a little bear on it. Oh, so cute. Aww. I found the bear claws. Okay. Look how good they look. Mm. Daddy, hold it. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we Good morning, it is Saturday. We are a couple miles, I believe, from the east entrance of Glacier. So we decided to go kind of around it so we could, you know, go a little bit of a, half a higher mile. speed. Turn left onto Looking Glass Hill. Anyways, and so um, we are actually going through the east side today and we are gonna 
I believe drive past, drive past to Madison and we're going up to St. Mary. Gonna spend some time there today, see some of the falls and stuff. And then when we get done with that, we'll kind of play it by ear to see what we do this evening. But then tonight when we get back, I know we need to pack up the car. We need to like get everything ready. All the kids need baths. So that'll be a little bit of a fun adventure this evening. We had some soup last night when we got back. I made some soup in the Instapot. And yeah, so we're gonna eat the leftovers for that for dinner. But we are entering the east side of the park right now. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. honestly a little bit warmer in the mountain than it was like by the lake the lake as you probably saw has literal white caps so it's pretty windy today but we're still making the most of it down a trail and in a tunnel. Was it so cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you having so much fun? Yeah, we just climb up and see we, Clifford. We did climb up a mountain to get to Clifford, huh? Uh, yeah, we do that and we do that. Yeah, we climbed up a big hill, huh? Yeah, we do that and we climb up. Yeah, we climbed up. Okay, you ready to go on another little hike? Yeah, okay. I know. we're going on another hike. Okay, say we'll see you in a minute. I will see you. What you eating? Peppers. Peppers. Say hey, mama. Hey. Mama. Say hey, Buster Beanie. Hey, Bean. Look, Bean. Hey, Bean. Oh. Bean. <laughs> you in the woods? But who's not there? I don't know. Is your bread so good? Who's not there? Who's not there? I don't know who that is. <coughs> oh, bless you. <coughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. How's your chicken salad? So good. Mm, I'm eating a ham and cheese roll up. Bean just ate a ton of cookies. He looks like he's ready for a nap. <laughs> hey, Bean. <laughs> we made it to Avalanche Lake in the parking area. And thankfully, we found a spot today. Yesterday, we didn't find a spot. So we're just having a little picnic in one of the little tent areas right now at a picnic table. And then we're going to go hike to the lake. I'm so excited. We got Bean bundled up just in case. It's a little chilly over by the lake. Got Sis in her hat and jacket. And we're just grubbing and then we're going to go on a hike. We 
are currently walking the Trail of the Cedars. We're probably, what, a good two and a half miles in. I would think we should be there soon to the lake. But it's beautiful up here. Jordan's holding Bean, holding Sis's hand. We got to walk up along the waterfall. It was so beautiful. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. So after we finished hiking yesterday, um, we just kind of, we were so tired. We went through Apgar Village, got like a sticker for the car, got some other little souvenirs, like a Christmas ornament, and Magnolia got a little like lion, and um, we really just head, headed home. We got like something to eat on the way, and we just relaxed all night. We were so tired. And then we got up this morning, we cleaned our um, VRBO, we packed the car up, we got everything ready. So we're about to hit the road to head to Great Falls. We're gonna meet Jordan's parents back over there. Um, thankfully, we don't have to drive all the way back to Sydney because that is on the other side of the state. It's a good eight to 10 hour drive. We only have about a three or four hour drive today, which is nice. Hopefully, Tori will sleep most of it, so it'll be easy going and peaceful. But um, I wanted to show you guys, one, what our VRBO looks like. It is so beautiful. If you're ever in the glacier area, I highly recommend it. I am going to leave the link to it down below. It's so cute. It was so affordable. It is only like 15 to 20 minutes max to the west entrance. It's amazing. Also, I did want to talk about Glacier for a minute. So we, the first day, went in through the east side, spent some time over there. And then on the second day, we drove around Glacier and went up the east side. And it was really windy that day. You might have been able to kind of see it in the footage. I may have mentioned that. But I personally recommend if you are like us and you're thinking, you know, oh, I can drive a little bit faster on the highway. I'm going to go around it to get to like St. Mary and Two Medicine and all that. It's really not that fa much faster. They're both two-hour drives. Going through Glacier, of course, is a shorter distance. But you're going up mountain and there's a lot of people people you can only go like 25 35 miles an hour so but when we went through the east side one the road is like not very fun to drive on going into the east side of the park um and it's also kind of sketch um and there's also like just random animals on the side of the road like cows and stuff um i mean in the middle of the day it was crazy um it's definitely a sight to see it was an experience to have for sure um but we are thankful that we went through the east side of the park and then went back through the west side you know like to get out because there really was not much to do on the east side most of that stuff's already closed since it's off season there's a good little bit still open on the west side um so we did have some stuff to do over there like touristy type stuff aside from just like nature type of things but um yeah so we ended up you know liking this choice that we made going through the east side but i don't think i would do it again um and i don't think i'd necessarily recommend it if you're gonna go to the east side definitely go through the west side of the park um don't drive around <laughs> but yeah so it was such a good trip we had so much fun i'm gonna show you guys what our vrbo looks like real quick so you guys can hopefully stay here too because it is so cute um the owners left like a little stuffed animal for magnolia they left us some huckleberry jam and you know down in the south if you're from the south do not have huckleberry berry stuff there um, and it is really good so if you're up here in the north and it's in your area definitely get some to try because it is amazing <laughs> um, but yeah she left us some jam she left us some fresh bread it was great over here there's a little like picnic table and a little fire pit we didn't get to use it sadly um, but then here's the entrance there's a little seating spot right here and then it's literally just like a little tiny house we have some hooks right here. Then there's a closet right here you can store like your winter jackets in. There's a washer dryer combo. We just put all of our dirty like sheets and towels right there. And then there's a whole kitchen, no dishwasher, but that's totally fine. She has literally like everything you would need. A full size fridge. But here's the little bathroom. It has a cute little barn door, a stand up tub, you know, everything you need. She has like soaps and everything, towels. They were so nice too. 
full size queen bed. It was so comfy. There's storage down there. And then she put a cot in here for Magnolia. Hey Bean, what you doing? It was so great. And then there's a table right there. It was just amazing. And look how cute all this decor is. The ceiling is so beautiful. It is so cute. You're hungry, sis? Okay, I'll get you a snack. Guys, we're watching our video. Say, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye.